Hello everybody, it's Baldrick Sodoff here, and this is how you use the war machine. So what you want to do, I know it's not a great gun to have, but it's part of explosives category. You want to get them into the bar, and with your war machine, you want to spray over here. See all the points? They'll just hit. I reckon that's the best strategy for it. Or, you wait for all 24 to spawn again. And you shoot up the stairs and go up. It gets a few. But the bar's the best way to get points off it. Trust me, it is the best way. So I want to sprint up with a fast gun, and then all you do is spray it over there. So you get, so if you get it in the box, it's not necessarily a useless weapon. Don't aim down the sight; it's pointless. You don't have to. I definitely recommend stamming up for this gun, as you as it makes you run ultra slow so I'll demonstrate the wall machine again so run with a pistol here then you wanna spray not there but you just spray in there and it should kill most zombies it should kill a lot of zombies alright the pack a punched version is a lot different I'll show it to you uh, Next, I just need to cut off some videos and need to wait for the round to end. Hello everybody, this is Baldrick Sodoff again and this is the pack a punch War Machine. You run faster with it, it reloads in one hit. The ammo capacity is not increased at all, but it's, it's like a Mustang and Sally, but a bit heavier and less ammo. But if you get it and you do pack a punch it, you can use it. It's, n it's not unusable. Just missed your max ammo there. So you just use it like a Mustang and Sally. It's, it's not automatic, it's semi. But it works fine. I'll give you a better demonstration. So you can use it in long distance areas like that, works fine. It looks nice. That was close. I'm used to going down. As I said, the sight doesn't do much at all. And I guess that's the end of round. I'll show you another way you can use it after I get Juggernog again. Hello everybody, it's Baldrick Sort of here and this is the most effective way to use a war machine. Alright, so you start off normally. I'll, it doesn't matter if you use it to start off. You can use it. It's better than something with no ammo, especially pistol. So I want to go around twice. Proceed to here, get all 24 zombies spawning in, then I'll show you how to finish them off easily. Where you can't really get trapped. So once all the zombies have spawned, they won't spawn behind you when you're camping somewhere for a few seconds. So that usually is a good thing. Just go around twice to make sure that no more are spawning, then you'll go up those stairs there. You want to get a bit in front of them. See, some are still spawning. So I want to make sure. You can still get them here. But, this is how you use it most effectively. And conserve the most ammo. As you can see, I've wasted a lot of ammo. Alright, so you got these stairs. 
and just swipe from. Then you want to move out because you can easily get down when they start spawning there again. And I'll show you another place you can go. It's in there, the bar. And that'll be the end of the video. Alright, so you just want to do the same thing, go around once. Make sure the zombies are spawned in. Don't be afraid to go across the lava once or twice, it doesn't kill you. Can if you stay with too long. And after you get all the zombies, you wanna get in the bar and you wanna camp at these stairs. And shoot. It, it can be dangerous, like I almost died there, but that's the most effective way to maximize your points. Hope this helped you out, uh, see you later. If this video series of explosive weaponry has helped you out in any way in playing your zombies, uh, please spend 10 seconds of your time to give it a like or subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed, see you later.